You're watching by PBL's GabFest. The guest opinions do not reflect the opinions of the show's sponsors. Video and audio quality is determined by the individuals partaking in the program. We apologize in advance for any enlightened views of the industry or hurt feelings. Hey, it's what up guys? This is Mark Cressid, a.k.a. Mr. H. We're live at World Cup 2011, and we're with GabFest. Today on the show we have Jason Panetta. Yo. The man behind the scenes. This is the designer. This is the guy who makes it happen. And we're here with Brandon Ford, obviously the main man behind the PB fashion thing. So uh, we're going to have a couple questions for Brandon and Jay. So this first one's for Brandon. Brandon, so uh, last season, PB fashion was experiencing a surge of popularity. Right. What's been going on since Huntington Beach? What's been happening? Well, I mean, since Huntington, we've probably gone to about, maybe I'd say 20 events across the world. Uh, we're just doing our thing. We're promoting. We're, uh, we're making videos for all the events we go to, and back at the back of the warehouse, we've been coming out with new products. We have the shredder, we have our harness, and uh, a few more products coming out in about a few months. So we've just been working hard, promoting, you know, just doing our thing. Nice. The shredder. Speaking of the shredder, all Dynasty's rocking the shredder. Uh, yeah, they're that. shredding. They're shredding World Cup. Dynasty's yeah. doing good. I think they got it. All right, and then uh, this one's for Brandon as well. Um, you know, Brandon, why do you think kids are so drawn to your brand? Why do, why do kids like PB yeah. Fashion? Why do kids like HKR? Yeah, I mean, why, well, why do you think that? I think like I've said before and like I feel like I, I mean when I'm always asked this question I always feel the same way because it's, I feel kids can really relate to what we're doing because we are still young we're still in tune with what's hot what's trendy and we're still in tune with the music the fashion so it's good to see I think people appreciate it, especially kids I, I know we would if we saw people that owned a company that are our age we'd understand and we'd appreciate what they were doing and support them versus the big corporate guys and so I think that's one of our big major factors and I think the fact that not only have we shown growth and we continue to grow and we continue to give back with our videos and continue to support leagues, it's really, you know, showing that we're trying to make a difference in paintball. Yeah, awesome, yeah, awesome. And then this one, this one, I, I, it's got to be for Jay. As, as the underground guy, he doesn't get hype. He's designing everything. He's making it happen. Um, Jay, so PB Fashion is known for their trend-setting designs. So what are your inspirations? What, what makes you come up with these designs that you see everyone rocking on the field and, you know, what's going on? So what, what's the inspiration behind this? I would, I would say uh, the inspiration is uh, I really stay in tune with what's going on outside of paintball. I really don't pay attention to what's going on inside of paintball. So right. then that ends up creating a whole different design style and different look than that's normally uh, that normal people would see in paintball. So, right, right. so I'd probably would say I get really inspired by like the skate, the surf industry, snowboarding, right. even, uh, even streetwear. Yeah. Streetwear, actually, I would say is my biggest inspiration. So, so what are you saying? Like you take a little bit from each industry and kind of bring that to paintball? Yeah, I, I, I take a little bit of everything. I just merge it all into one, and then that's what we have is HK Army. Really bright, really uh, hip, up-to-date clothes. Hey, sick. All right, cool. All right, and then uh, I'm going to bring this to Brandon, of course. Um, so, yo, in your opinion, what is the biggest contributing factor to the sudden surge in PP fashion products? Like, what, what, what do you think? Why this is happening? Is it the videos? Like, what, I mean, what, what, do, what think, do you think I don't is think the reason for why, why people are all in this booth right now? What do you I think? I don't think I can contribute to this to just one thing. I think it's a combination of everything. And that's how it's always been throughout our whole lives. As you know, yeah. we're all individuals. We all are adding ingredients to make one big, huge melting pot. And obviously, the videos, the videos are a huge. Oh, sorry. The videos are a huge, a huge element. I mean, that's, that's allowed us to connect with fans across the world. No, Cassidy's been stunned. Cassidy, he's killing it. He's killing it. He's doing what he does. We got to Cassidy. We forgot your last video, but no, Cassidy we Sanders. We got you. Our video is awesome. So it's the videos. It's our drive. I mean, we're pushing constantly to push it all over. We're pushing to make new products. We're always working. We're always at events. We're always promoting. And I mean, our fans. I mean, it, 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 it's, you know, they show us the love, and we, we want to show it back. So it's just that's what keeps us going. So it's just everything combined really just makes it all work. Awesome, awesome. All right, I'm gonna come back to uh, Jay on this one. Um, so you've been around paintball for a while. We've all been around paintball for a while. What is your most memorable moment from playing with HK and, and all that? Was it winning? Was it designing? What, what's been like the biggest deal for you? What's been the most memorable for you? There's been a couple memorable moments. Uh, obviously, uh, the biggest moment was when we all won together first place in uh, Florida. Uh, two, was it 2008? Yeah. 2008. We were all together. We all were all our best friends, all hanging out, and our good friend, uh, uh, Jason Califf, also Tally, Tally uh, was with us at that event. That was the last event he actually was able to play with us. He passed away uh, 
soon after that event. But that was, I would say that was our my biggest moment in paintball. For those of you who don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna step in for a second here. Uh, winning that event was so much to us because as HK playing, we would always make it to what the semifinals. Always and, the semifinals. And we could never pull through to actually win an event. So that event to us winning, we called it. Uh, breaking the HK curse. Broke the curse. So we yeah. broke the curse, and from then we were able to win events and, and keep it going. So that's why that was. Yeah, that was awesome. I would say that was mine. So we're gonna come. We're gonna come back to you, Jay. So, who in your crew has a skill off the field that you envy? What do you think? Because you design, you yeah. make it happen without seeing it. Who Being an artist and a designer, I would say uh, the person I would envy the most would be Cassidy Sanders, the guy, the guy that makes all of our videos because he's also an artist. You, as, I would say every single film he's made is a piece of art in its own way. Yeah. And uh, everybody looks up to him. Everybody wants to create videos like him. And uh, I know I couldn't create videos like that. And knowing that he's able to do something that I can't do is awesome. And I definitely, uh, yeah, I think I have a lot of thing. credit for that. I feel like it's one thing to make something that people like and enjoy, but it's a totally another realm to be able to come up with that idea, to come up with that concept. And that, that show is a true artist, a true genius, you know? Yeah. I mean, like on the radio, we all listen to songs that we like, but you know, the people who actually develop that, it's, it's on a whole new level. So yeah. it's definitely something to uh, respect. No, definitely. Big ups to Cassidy. You've been killing it. We love you. Um, secondly, we're going to we're gonna go right back to you, Jay. Um, who in the crew, who in our crew has a skill off the field that makes you vomit? What don't you not like? Like, what's oh, going on? Who, who in the crew? Um, well, there's this guy in our crew that no one knows, because I wouldn't really say he's even really involved in <laughs> paintball, but... Uh, he's our CFO. His name's Brian. Uh, he really makes, probably not just me, all of us puke. He doesn't really... <laughs> I won't really go into details, but he really upsets a lot of people a lot of times, but he also is our guy that handles a lot of our finances. Everyone so. who's watching, this is someone you so guys we got to give him know. a little bit of yeah. credit, but he stresses know. us You don't want to know him. It's we okay. We deal with him all the time. You're lucky you don't know him. <laughs> Things get broken in the office because of him a lot of the times. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to the office, back at you know, maybe not being at work. Um, yeah. Brandon, when you're not busy at work and you're not at an event, you know, what do you do? What do you do when you're not at work? I mean, you're always working. I know you're always oh, working. Man, but if I you mean, do have that one second, what, what are you doing? I'm always here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. I mean, I like to get a chance to sleep every now and then. But let's keep it real. I rock. Mr. Oh, <laughs> we hit the town. We tear it up. We take the bus out. You know what we do. You know, you got to keep it real. No, we got to get in. We, we took the bus out last week. It got nice. It was nice. It was nice. All right, one more. One more for you. Um, Brandon, what is the craziest thing an HK fan has ever done that you've seen? You know, as long as we've been playing. I mean, I've, like I said, I've been everywhere. I have different countries and, and just different types of paintball. And I always get fans coming up to us and showing me like, dude, look at my tattoo, look at, look at my, I cut my hair to say HK Army, or just, I dyed my hair for you guys. And I mean, it's, it's crazy, you know, because it's like so big. It's something that they're going to live with for the rest of their life, but it's awesome because that means that they really, like I always say, they always really understand what we're doing and that really means a lot. And so, like I said, it's crazy because they have to live with that for the rest of their life, but it means a lot. And it really keeps us going, I think. I mean... Not, not the only thing, but it's really something oh, that, yeah. that means see, a lot. To see someone do something like that and, and put something permanent on like it. It means we're doing something right. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. So here's another question we got. Um, Crash at the Coast, which is an amazing clinic. Um, it's a clinic like no other. What makes Crash at, the, Crash at the Coast so successful, and what is the future going to bring? And I'm, I think I'm going to handle this one. Mm -hmm. Crash at the Coast, um, you know, we started last year, and it's been going bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's huge. I mean, we did the first oh, one in San Diego. We started with 14 people. Our last one had 40 people. It's, it's, been, it's been crazy. But what makes it so successful is that, uh, what I think is it's a perfect mix in between seriousness with paintball and then having fun as well. So I think we bring those two together perfectly. We, we are serious when it's on the field. And when it's time to have fun, we have fun. And not only that, we're filming the whole thing. And the kids who do get to sign up, you know, they get their 15 minutes of fame, and it's just an awesome time. So that's what I think. Yeah, I mean, and really the kids who sign up, I mean, I feel like we become true friends. I mean, yeah, we, see them, we see them, we all see them at, at, you know, each person that comes out to a different stop, wherever, there's, you know, whatever's local to them, and it's like they stop by, we say what up, you know, we treat them like family, and I think that, that means a lot to them, and it's yeah. really cool to have those connections across the world, you know. I also, awesome. I also think a big thing is that uh, normal clinics are all smashed into usually like one to two days. Yeah. But, and uh, everybody's usually like nervous in front of each other. They all feel like they have to warm up or try and maybe even try to show off to each other. But our clinic, you're creating friendships, you're creating mm -hmm. bonds with each exactly. other. Yeah. And, uh, and also our coaches stay with the kids so the kids aren't really intimidated by the coaches because they're usually, the coaches are their role models, their idols. 
pro players that they've always looked up to, and usually that's a big intimidating thing, but if you're able to spend a lot of time with those coaches, mm -hmm. you get to open up and you're not really so nervous and uptight yeah. around around the, those guys. No, exactly, sure. and Jay just said it perfectly. Every kid who's ever done our clinic, we are best friends. They all have my cell phone number and everyone else's number. Yeah. They can call us at any time. A few of them are actually working the booth, so that, yeah. <laughs> we, we become their friends. Yeah, so that's sure, awesome. Sure. Another thing, Crash at the Coast is known for intense training and wild parties. So let's role play your kid <laughs> you have to convince yeah. your mom to let you attend. What do you say? Because I know you kids see the videos, and you, if your mom sees it, they're drinking a little bit, or they see a little something. <laughs> if I was a parent, I probably wouldn't want to do that. So, what do we do to what do we do to convince them? What, what do we do? I'm gonna finish the brand it. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> way to blindside me. All right. I mean, well, I was a kid. Step one: don't show your parents the video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually not no. that bad though. I mean, it's actually really serious. It's okay. It's no, it is really bad. serious. But I can understand from a parent standpoint. You know, it's like, oh, look at these crazy guys. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I say you tell your mom, hey, this is what you love, and and these are people that you want to connect with, and this is what's really gonna make you happy. No, exactly. And and for the record, it's just like and me, kids who are drinking are twenty one, and kids who aren't are are just doing their own thing. We have we have two separate groups. It's like if you're partying, you're with that group, and if you're not, you're with that group. And we've changed the age to 18. Plus, who doesn't want to meet Mr. H? Mr. H. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. We're almost done. Here we got uh, Brandon on this one. All right. So we're just going to say for Jay and Brandon, thanks for you guys' time. And lastly, um, what do you have to say to all the fans? What, what do we got to say to all the fans? First off, H. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but uh, no, on a real note, I mean, it's just, you know, thank you for all, you know, for all the support. Uh, great to see all you guys everywhere we go it really makes it worth it and uh hope that uh we can keep it going you know definitely make it happen yeah we definitely wouldn't be here without you guys we love everybody wearing our stuff we love all the h's from everybody we we just love you guys period i mean we really you guys are helping us achieve our dreams i hope we're helping you guys love paintball even more so uh we're always going to be there for you guys uh, yeah, seriously, big ups to everyone who's helping us out. You know, five years ago, we were sitting here stepping up to the die booth or whatever booth it was, you know. Being like, getting you know, thrown out at PSP. Yeah, getting thrown yeah, out at PSP. Yeah, we were getting picked on, picked <laughs> on all day. Even here at this event, doing this interview is amazing to us, and we're just so thankful and happy. So, you know, big ups to everyone. Thanks a lot to Buy PBL for having GapFest, and stay tuned for more episodes, boys. Thanks for checking out Buy PBL's GapFest. Make sure to check out all the show sponsors' websites for the latest information on new episodes.